Welcome back, my yummy, scrumptious honey cakes. We are back with crypto's juiciest news, and today we are actually witnessing the exact same price as yesterday. We have Bitcoin at $64,000, and of course, some of you have asked, which currency? That's American US dollars. Okay, 64K, friends. We're still waiting to see. Are we going to come and have a date with the devil down this 21 EMA, or are we going to do BCBs? Famous little chart where he does a little correction of this crashing style. Friends, maybe we have some little dippy dippy down and then we continue up only. And then up here though, friends, you've got to be careful because this up only part, all right, is it's on the crypto total market cap, all right? So it could be Bitcoin slows down. It could be Bitcoin slows down. It can't go, but altcoins keep going up. Or we just like screw it all, we go down as well. All right. So I just want you to like, want to remind you, okay, no one knows anything, friends. We're just guessing. It just and stuff looks similar and then it changes. Remember, no one has a hundred percent strike rate with anything. And when you're dealing with these short-term stuff, constantly doing short-term stuff, you don't know, friends. It's for example, you know, you might have for, you know, maybe your mum and your dad. Okay. Do they love you for life? Yes. Um, but maybe you have like broken your mum's favorite vase, you come home drunk, too late, and maybe you swore at the latest family barbecue. Barbecue. Does she love you in that moment? You're like, oh, I don't really know, man. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like it's really, really, really hard in these short-term stuff to constantly think about the emotions and what the crowd is actually doing, friends. You see this stuff? This is the stuff that we're actually looking at, okay? And we're still waiting to see is Ethereum going to come and bring the, bring the cookies home or is Bitcoin dominance going to do Max Kaiser's expectation of just going to a 100% as everything goes up. So I want to let you know that friends, don't worry about any of these other guesses. We don't know. All we know is so far the four year cycle has been playing out to the T, except there's something to think about. Bitcoin broke the all time high, something it's never done before. But I want to let you know, if you map out everything out, right, everything, and you compare them, it's pretty much it's playing it out, going about a bit a bit earlier. However, nothing's written in stone, friends. It's we're following the stock market. All right. So it depends. Right? That's why it's never hundred percent right. You, on one hand, you're saying, okay, it's a four year cycle. On the other hand, you go, no, no, this time is different because we went up high. Now, what you're actually saying is this time is different for the stock market. It's done such a vicious upwards rally. And we followed it on the way up. That's what people mostly are saying when they're speaking about that. And I can show you the chart right now. To just broadcast to you, look how insane this stock market rally was. Bitcoin goes up with this this whole time. All right, so that's pretty much it. It actually had this pullback and we stopped. So when we're looking at, is this time different? Pretty much no. Everything else is exactly the same. It's just that stock market ran a bit earlier. What does that mean now? Like, can the stock market, now that it's run a bit earlier, can the stock market rinse for longer? Can it do that? And then catch up? to normal stock market mean because maybe the stock market friends has a distribution of like okay sometimes it goes really fast really slow but it has the average right now so we just got a really fast moment and you know it coincides with the bitcoin etf which is kind of spooky isn't that just spooky how like the stock market runs early and we got a bitcoin etf this year because this is this is literally the fastest rally that the stock market's ever done in like it's 100 plus years or something for the year and then so we're, we're going to pay for our sins eventually later on you'll see but first, friends, I want to bring you some potentially secret alpha. So, you know, I've been covering Bitcoin, friends. You know, Bitcoin. So, cute little Bitcoin. And I've made many posts about it. If you type in Bitcoin from your friend Somi here, look, I am here. Hey, I got a cone in my head. It's a, it's a cute little Reddit community, friends. And they have little avatars and stuff. Bitcoin, they're, and they're called the cone heads. All right. It's really, they're really, really cute. Everyone's really nice. They're really pleasant. And it's really cheap. And it's funny, right? Uh, I'm looking at them. I'm like, guys. You guys are worth 100 million market cap in the future. You don't even know it right now. Okay, so this is what I'm covering here. Telling you, hey, it's come back in 2.3 million market cap. I think maybe it's like at four or five now. I don't even know what it is, but I'm just telling you, like, I like it. So you can actually see the in the top left here. Now, why am I covering it for you? Like, hey, I've heard about this before. Maybe you got some on your Polygon side of your wallet. Okay, but I just want to remind you that there's an Easter egg that has appeared, friends. An Easter egg. Look at this little ice cream cone. You see that? So this is on the Kraken wallet. Kraken, one of the world's busy, biggest exchanges, right? One of the biggest, you know, the US exchanges. Not the biggest, but one of, you know, it's really, really big. They're, they're really like, friends, they're really like kind of like OG. Kraken's like really OG, kind of like, you know, likes memes. They like privacy. 
they're pretty much they're very friendly to Richard Hart, for example, and they're obviously anti corrupt SEC. Kraken get a hard time from the corrupt SEC, and like pretty much fans, everyone knows like Coinbase is the chosen one. But even they're, they're trying to get them to play ball and stuff over time. You can read between the lines what's going on, okay? But they've given a cute ice cream logo. So instead of giving no logo, they have a cute little logo given here. So it's just it's, it's just alerting you that someone in the dev team has seen this and they might know it. They're like, oh, I'll put a cute logo for it. Just, you know, just to throw it in there as an Easter egg. So what does it mean? Does it mean, I don't know, does it get listed one day? I don't know. All I can tell you is someone's watching it. It can, it's on someone's radar. And these guys, they're really, really cute fans. They're like, you, when you join the community, there's all these colors, everyone's friendly and stuff. And they're really, really small grassroots. Someone got hacked in it and a hacker dumped their coins and the community reimbursed them. Now, when you see this, you're probably thinking of like, oh, wow, they must have a billion dollar valuation like Hex. No. No, it's like 7 million, 6 million, 5 million, not even 4 million valuation. Like you're, you're so tiny, people chipped in to reimburse, okay? Just showing you this grassroots. That's what I like saying, friends. You like grass, you like roots. So you want to see grassroots. If you guys remember like Tang Gang stuff, what's, what's grassroots really mean? Like in crypto, what does grassroots mean? It means no one notices you at the start. Not many people, okay? And you're honest, you're loyal, you have big vision, and you stick with it. There is no big whale who's benevolent that backs you at the start. You're on there on your own. It could be like your friend Sami. He's starting like a year and a half ago. No one backs me. No one knows about me. Okay, grassroots. Okay, let's say if I made a coin a year and a half ago, I'm just grassroots, and I had a I had and I had a dream and a vision for this coin, whatever it is. Okay, and then it kept growing and growing slowly, and then people start to trust you. They're like, hey, this guy's cool. I'm in it. You know, these are the people who are in it for the tech. It's how Bitcoin started, right? And then eventually, though, you hit this, like, size where people start to notice you. And then the first big whale clips in, start to run, and then you have start to have your boom-bust cycles going on over time. So uh, you have not seen that with Bitcoin. And actually show you the chart right now, friends. It's actually only 2.9 million mark cap, pretty small. See these, friends? It has not had any of these extraordinary parabolas that just keep going and going. Just showing you, by the way, by the way, I'm just showing you, friends, this is, if you look at these higher lows, okay, there's people in here, all right. <laughs> You've seen this before. Friends, this is literally, that's Harry Potter, Obama, Sonic 10 in here, ticker Bitcoin. That is also HOA, hex orange address. That is also reminiscent of Dick with butt. You see all this grassroots stuff with strong cult? It's funny how these cult guys, friends, they don't sell. They don't sell at the starts because they're cults because they're strong. That's why, because friends, when you're in a cult, you're like, hey, let's just let's do something together. We've got a community. Screw everybody else. Let's do it our own way. Okay, let's make it cool. Let's make it friendly. Let's, let's just invite people in. There's no big whale that backs you because they're like, because because the, a big whale, there's, okay, not just, all not big whales out to exploit, but you don't get noticed because no one really sees the vision yet except you guys, you guys and girls and squirrels and pups and ducks. No one sees the vision but you. So you just stick with it and slowly just keep onboarding people. All right, so. Look, I don't, I don't see a problem with this hitting like a hundred million valuation one day. Like, why not? I mean, like, come rocket hit four hundred million. Why can't this hit a hundred million in the bull market? It's thirty extra here. I think it should even be higher, to be honest, based on how nice they are. To so that's why I'm just covering it here for you. Don't do any of this FOMO buying stuff, friends. If you start seeing these things trade up, to, like I don't know, maybe I'm just telling. I'll show you the low, show you the higher lows though. You know what I mean, like friends. You remember Asaka Protocol? Now this one, friends, I covered it. I did not buy. I am still burning today. I did not buy. It went up. It did this. It did this, and it did this. And I'll, I made a, I made a chart. And I made I made it in my video. I got guys. Does anybody know anything about this coin? I heard it from Coach K, who has blocked me because of like a diary about that story, right? Coach K, and there's a lot of insiders here, and it's linked to early Shib, early Shib, early Ryoshi. There's codes and stuff in the decks in the the clips, like the early Shib founders, the early Shib devs were buying Shib with like five ETH clips periodically, and then this also have five ETH clips. Periodically, like this, I think, like, I don't know if that's the exact number, but something like that, right? And I was just watching it, and then I was just like, you know what? I don't know, I'll just, I'll just wait. And then pop, look at that, look at that. Oh, my God, full regret, friends, full regret. I think where I covered it was up here. So we had to sit through some pain first, 20% down, not even really pain. Then it goes up like a 9x or something. That's just insane, right? I think if I remember now, covered it, went down around here, somewhere here. Oh, man, that's just nuts. Went up like a 10x. But you get to see these higher lows, right? You get to see that. So I'm just showing you Bitcoin. With, uh, what happens is there's believers in there and they're not letting it drop 90%. They let it go 60 to 70, pop up. Go up 40 to 50, pop up. Then it's only 30%. And then eventually you basically just cleared that whole zone and it's ready to go. So I don't know if that's going to happen with Bitcoin, but hey, I'm cheering him on. That's not, It's nice to have friends. Look, to me, think of Bitcoin as like, okay, 
if Polygon has a narrative, these are a cute community where people just want to buy Polygon stuff. This is a small market. It's a leverage play on Polygon. You know what I mean? It's nice to have exposure there. So that's that's another way to think about it. And Polygon, by the way, has been getting thrashed against Ethereum. It's down 75% versus ETH, you know. But, you know, they could always move the communities if they really wanted to. But I think it's really cool that these opportunities here. So also, friends, today, BitBoy has launched Bro on Pulse Chain. It's currently at $18 million market cap. And speaking of the word bro, friends, so Pulse Latina has been in the Pulse Chain community. Now, here's the thing, man. Pulse Latina, I saw some videos. Apparently, you're actually a real person, a real girl, and you're actually really coding. But, man, I'm just telling you guys, like, uh, I, <laughs> I had a post. I, I've got, like, so many likes. I didn't know everyone would be watching this. I, I just clicked on Pulse Latina. I was, I was like, what? Because everyone was saying it's a guy. It's someone else recording. And I just clicked, friends. I don't answer my DMs, okay? But I just clicked into the inbox message for it. And I was like, wait a minute. You messaged me a year and a half ago. You called me bro. You know what I mean? Back when you were, like, non-existent, I think. And I was like, that's so strange. Like, who uses the word bro? I was like, oh, man, that's totally a guy. I was like, oh, it's totally a guy, man. You know what I mean? The guy was messaging first. It could be still a guy. Who knows, friends? Who knows? Um, But it's just funny. Then they infiltrate, infiltrate. I don't know why, friends. Just Pulse (laughs) Pulse Shaker community has got a lot of simps, man. (laughs) But hey, hey, this is the funny part. There's no girls on the other chains. So they're not even appearing. Like, do you know, there is Cardanzo ladies. There is, friends. Um, There is Ethereum girls. But there's nothing that like on Pulse Chain, on any of these other chains. There isn't. So it's not that just they're simps. Like, these are the only girls. <laughs> it's like you go to a nightclub in the city and there's like 14 gay bars and there's one straight bar and there's like six girls in them though and there's like 4,000 guys. But it's the only straight bar in town. So <laughs> this is what you have on the internet. Oh, man, friends, please don't forget. You're here to gamble. You understand? You don't go to the casino to go meet the love of your life. You understand? You're here to gamble and speculate on your future. You understand? Growing network effects, participating in crypto. That's what you're here for. Culture casino. You're not here to try and meet the <laughs> to try have some romance time on the internet. Speaking of romance, how about some bromance? So shout out to Hexy Bastard. It's actually onboarded pretty much BitBoy with the idea to release a meme coin using the nine-inch platform. I mean, I'm assuming it is. Here he is on the show. So this is Bitty Boy. <laughs> friends, it looks like, you know, Bit Boy, friends, look at him, but right? from from seeing him in his in his prime, which is like right here, you can see like Bit Boy fighting and boxing, right? It's just it's just hilarious to see. Hilarious to see. Like, even though, friends, this is funny. This was like recently, okay. This is the Harry Potter Obama guy, by the way. That's funny. I did not know he was a Harry Potter Obama guy. So um it's just hilarious. When you see Bitty Boy now, he's like like one of the retired champions. Like he's wearing glasses now. He's starting to look like an an older man. Like he's, he's a veteran. He's like like the coach from Rocky. He's going like, oh, hit, him, hit him, you bum. It's kind of funny. He's going to try to like coach people probably to like achieve greater things because he did, he did hit like a hundred million plus subs. Everyone knows him and it's really entertaining. Oh man, it's just crazy how it's happening. Now he's in Pulse Chain, friends. So it's kind of like he wants a spirit. Look at him. He's even, he's even got a fist. He's even got a fist here, friends. This is what happens, friends. You know when people achieve great things, they want to relive it, they want the dopamine again. I don't know if you guys know, but you know Muhammad Ali, greatest boxer ever of all time, right? Uh, don't look up his last fight. I think his last two fights, they were begging him, don't fight, don't fight, don't fight. He got, he just got basically demolished. I think he was like hitting when he was 40, basically got more brain damage and stuff out of it because they're just like, no, nah, I want to fight. I want the greatness. You understand? It, it's really hard for sports people or just, you know, even in Hollywood, once you reach that height, the nostalgia of being back there, they grip back. By the way, also known as main character syndrome in crypto, they just, they want to reach it again. They never quite hit the mark. That's why you almost have a diminished game when it comes to that. So bro, friends, if you go to GoPulse, the bubbles or Pulse Bubbles, You'll see that bros up here, but I've actually got the real chart here for you. So look, friends, it did do like 100x from the start of the first minute. However, this is the five-minute candle. So if you measure from the end of the five-minute candle, it's up 7.6x. If you measure it from the one minute, it's up like 100x. So as you get to see, it was like super, I, I, like I was in it was middle, of the, middle of the night here when it launched. It's like 3 a.m. or whatever. So obviously I didn't see it, didn't even know what was happening pretty much. And yeah, congratulations to everybody who did. I think I saw Marco, shout out to Marco, said he pretty much met, smashed it. I think he was taking his kids out. He checked on his phone. He's like, oh, sweet, I'm in. And he, he threw it in, okay? Oh, so, friends, please, please. I know you maybe maybe hear stories of like that. Just please be careful. MetaMask on your phone, not 100% safe, okay? I'm just too scared. Trojans, they can peek stuff into there. Just be super careful. Do you know how many times we've seen someone had MetaMask on their phone that had issues with stuff? So if you're going to use it, just use a prostitute wallet, which is just pays you a public bathroom wallet. 
where you just have only a bit in there, just enough to play around, but not, not anything that you have fully serious, okay? So that chart though, it's pulled back 61%. However, the valuation is 16 million. And I think his Ben coin, I don't even know if it's a real Ben coin, his Ben coin is like, he's like 5 million market cap on Ethereum with 1 million of liquidity, funny enough. It's got thick liquidity. It's just that, you know, I guess Ethereum hasn't basically been in favor for a while. So this is a big boost to Pulse Chain itself with his network effect. So you, this is why, friends, things are bubbling under the surface. People are racing meme coins and altcoins. And remember, we already had the infrastructure, the sacrifice projects, like boring. They're not going anywhere, man. That's it. No one cares about them. Like in terms of like, like we need them there, but we don't get excited about it. Like I, don't, I was watching, I was watching a money talk show pretty much. I've got the DeFi Alliance with uh, Corey and Dane. And I, I know, man, Corey, every, every episode I hear Corey go like, man, I'm a fan of utility. I want utility. Because why? Because, bro, you're a real estate guy. All right. <laughs> Houses, yes. People need somewhere to sleep with a roof over their head. You're like, okay, we need this. We actually need it. Like, it's an actual necessity of life. In investing world, bro, trust me, flip that on the head. I can show you indexes. I've made posts and videos about it last year where you can map the utilities index of America, which is food, energy, electricity, water companies, okay? You can map them against technology companies that don't even make profit. And guess what the chart does? It's going down over time, which basically means even as companies don't even make a profit over like 50 years, 50 to 70 years of this, the energies is getting less and less and less valuable relative to all the speculation part over the world. Because they, they why? Probably because they keep printing money and we're becoming more first world. And the things we store value in, like networks, you don't get direct cash flow from them. Like, for example, there are many stock market companies, their brand has a value, but they don't make that much cash flow. But you know, the brand name has like, you know, pretty much that's pretty much what we're going to. And guess what? We direct that, directly apply that to crypto right now. So, but no, that's why, that's why we're early to crypto. That's why like people don't get that part yet. It's it's like uh, probably like most, 99% of people watching this, you guys watching at home, you're probably like slowly warming up to this idea. Like, ah, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Yeah, but Bitcoin just showed you that. Bitcoin makes no money. How's it go up? Okay, it's valued as a network. Why is it valued as a network? Okay, why isn't it worth $1? Why is it worth trillion plus? It's because the market knows this value of the network, right? It's worth something. You get this amount of people in a group, it's worth something. It doesn't matter what it does. They could worship a, like a, literally a chocolate egg or a squeaky chair, or they could have access to a membership which directly pays cash flow. The market sees them as almost the same. Okay. It's just like if you have a house and you live in it. Okay. I'll say, well, how much is your house producing you of income today? You're like, nothing. Cause I live in it. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Give me your house for a dollar. You're like, no. You're like, why won't you give it to me for a dollar? And we'll play some nice angel music for this discussion. Firstly, you tell me to get off your lawn. And secondly, you go like, well, I could get someone into this house in two weeks and then they could pay me rent for it. That's why I'm not giving you a dollar because they'll pay me a certain yield, okay? And then they'll pay me like 3% yield. So give me 33X, whatever they pay for the for the rental year. See what I mean? Well, in, in Bitcoin crypto, it's more removed, but there's liquidity rails. And we're like, well, look, we don't make any money today, but we could make money somewhere in the future. And everyone knows this and no one wants to leave. All right. So that's why the market's smart. That's why that's why everyone's still wrapping their head around this. Okay. Now, BitBoy's market cap, 16.1 million value. People are valuing these based off network effects. So you know what's interesting though? If you look at Gummy Token, which is Crypto Banter's token, which launched recently, it's pretty much a success. Success, but you just got to be careful, friends, with the pricing and stuff like in terms of getting in. So Crypto Banter's token is around 100 million market cap. So I reckon BitBoy at like 16 to 20 million today is about fair. I actually think it's about fair. I think that's how much it should be. So, you know, if it dropped down to 8 million or 5 or 6 later on and it feels abandoned, yeah, I'd get in. But you don't know. These things don't have to. That's why I never rush in to jump into any of these, okay? Also, so uh, I want to give a special congratulations to Hexy Bastard for doing this. Friends, I told you. I made so many videos. It's funny. Mr. Hexy Bastard doesn't even know. Habib. Habibi. While you were gone... Okay, go read the comments about you on my videos as I am defending Nine Inch and Poor Pleb and all of these while everyone was gone. I said, guys, there's been a recent shark dump in Nine Inch. It's a reflection of Hexy Bastard and it's kind of like chilling out in the background, goes on holiday and stuff. I go, it's okay, these things just happen. You just got to get them rinsed out. Even, I, said, I was even telling people, even if he was here facing the people, there'd be nothing good out of it. 
Nothing good, nothing good. So you just need to let, let them rinse out. And you can see it on the chart. You can see it on the poor pleb chart. Funny enough, right? This is the PP chart right now. Let's put it on the PLS chart just so you can see the real happenings, friends. So while you got down here, friends, remember, November last year, as it was going down and it was in this buy zone, okay, I was telling you about the, but I said, I go, look, I'm a believer. However, when you drop this vertical, you don't go up like that, okay? You take some time out to rinse, couple of months, could be four, five, six months, and guess exactly what's happening right now. It's funny, it's leaving that buy zone right now. So nice, you guys can enjoy the momentum and hopefully it pumps up. So just to show you guys, this is pretty much, this is the whole game, right? Everyone's speculating, network effects, how much is this worth? That's what, by the way, that's happens in a bull market, friends. So you might looking at um, BitBoy's, uh, BitBoy's candle chart and going like, hey, why is BitBoy worth 16 million here? What's going on, Will? Look, friends, <clears throat> in a bull market, we, this happens in the stock market. This is not new, okay? We price off someone on top of us. We, we're relative to everyone else. That's how markets go off. We're like, okay, well, for example, you know, okay, Bitcoin is 1 trillion. Okay, but people go, hey, but gold is 12 trillion. You know what I mean? We should be actually higher. That's what they all say. Everyone does that game. Everyone does that game, no matter where you are, all right? So especially when it comes to meme coins. Now meme coins, we're like, wait a minute. Okay, crypto banter, 500,000 plus subs. 100 million market cap, traded at 200 million, it's got a range here. Okay, yeah, it could be fairly priced. Maybe if it went down to 45 million or 40 million, okay, now we've got some value, value for a buy, you know, but it could be in fairly priced right now, all right? Same as BitBoy, BitBoy 16 million, you know, took a hit, main character, the debacle, back and forth, lost his channel, you know, a bit of shakeups next season. So yeah, that could be uh, fairly priced. So it's up to you though to figure out, there's no formula, friends. It's you've got to kind of like dive deep into the psychology of retailers and normies and all of us and how we price things. That's why, friends, I've always said, like, for example, Chainlink is significantly underpriced still because Chainlink makes Polkadot irrelevant. Polkadot's meant to connect all these different chains. Yeah, but Chainlink's got a bridge of CCIP now. The market still hasn't woken up to it. I think they will wake up when Bitcoin's now 100K. I was hoping it would wake up earlier. But I'm just showing you these are the things that basically got to price everything off. Also, I can tell you another big one, for example, Landorf is easily, easily underpriced, friends. 12 million market cap here, 12, 13, 14 million market cap. Because, friends, the thing is, okay, if Pepe's 2.2 billion, and this is official land off. Now, I know there's multiple market caps and stuff, and it's, this is a five-time survivor of rugs, five now. Five rugs, five vampire attacks, okay, and still going. We're still going, we're still building, all right? So still building the community. 615, the divine plan. So that's why he's thinking, oh, wait, Brett hit 700 million market cap. Why is this at 14, 15? This, this is the market's like basically waiting to see, okay, is this the real official one? What happens after this? But it just takes time for these things to work themselves out. So yeah, when it comes to um, when it comes to BitBoy's coin, bro, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait it out, friends. I'm going to wait it out. It's like 16 million market cap. I'll just move it here so you can see. See, I'm just going to wait it out as I always do. Like it's a 60% dip if you really want it. But yeah, I mean like friends, it's Tangang coins, still super cheap. Could get them on a dip as well. Just get everything, man. Get everything. Okay. Now, speaking of Pulse Chain friends as well, Tangang stuff, I've got to mention this to you as well. Many Soilana and Coinbase coins continue to slide as they run out of buyers compared to peak mania in March. Now, I want to go through all the coins stuff here and there because you're just going to see coins going down heaps, but you know what I mean. So you could tell, friends, I when I just told you, man, I got message from people. I mean, guys, I, I, I am, I don't want to be mean, but man, I want to put your I want to put your DMs all of you. I want to make a collage, one picture at a time. Actually, that'd be better, and just make a video of it, just to see what you guys sound like at Euphoria, spitting on your friend Sami, disrespecting, saying I missed it and I'm stupid, saying I got the thesis is all wrong, and then also throwing in oh Richard Hart's a scammer, wasting your time, and I'm like saying uh you know HOA is up like 15x. You know, Dick with butt went up 50x. You know, all these things actually going up. And then these people, they're in disbelief. They're like, what? No, no, you never told me about it. I'm like, yeah, I did. It's just that because Pulse Chain was not moving, they weren't paying attention to the ecosystem. Even though I'm, I'm posting all the friends, making five videos there. Of course, I'm posting all this stuff. But they're just looking at the core coin. That's it. So what they realize, oh, wait a minute. You just like Solana because Sol went up. But Sol's now near its highs against Ethereum. You might be a top signal. You're actually participating in a racist coin mania, literally racist coins, friends. You know what I mean? So I don't know if I should do that. I don't want to be disrespectful to my friends in there. But that's just like, that's that's what happened. Pretty much I'll cop that, friends. I'll cop, just friends, just because someone knows me for like four years, I cop the same messages. 
<laughs> like you, if you check the comments of like Mr. Bonbon, like Mr. Bonbon and Mr. Bonbon, I'm, I'm afraid, sir, I'm going to have to show you the eHex chart more. And it's actually funny because eHex is up 3% somehow in the past 24 hours when everything else is down, getting crushed. Let's check the pulse ratio. What to look? Oh my gosh. Look at you, you dirty little dog going up doing a cute little rounded bottom here. Maybe a diamond butt, if you will, friends. This is the eHex to pulse ratio, exactly what you want to be looking at. Hey, measure against the speed, right? So I'm just telling you, man, capitulation, everyone throwing stuff out. Remember that it was, with the e-hex, it was like extreme violence and stalking and all this stuff. And yeah, I'll, I'll go out publicly and tell you 50,000 times I thought Richard Hart was a scammer at the start. Guess what? 99% of you are thinking that right now because the price is going down anyway. Okay, so yeah. And guess what? Even though I thought it was a scammer, I saw the price chart down, the community there. I'm like, there's something there. There's something there. I don't get crypto fully yet, but there's something there. So what a journey it's been, Okay. Unfortunately, right, as the buyers run out for Coinbase and Solana, also happens in Pulse Chain. It's sliding now seven weeks in a row. So, and <clears throat> no way to put it, man. These charts are absolutely horrendous. This is absolutely horrendous, filth. I know we can do the log chart cope. So you want to see, like, hey, what's the new cope? Okay, then a cope is the cope, new cope is you put it on a log chart and you draw a trend line. Okay, and then you just draw this trend line. That's it. So, no more measuring from the low because they're trash. No more total ROI, no more SAC1 measurements, none of that. It's just like, let's draw this trend line and hope it holds. That's pretty much what it's come down to. But, and I don't know what to tell you is, I did not think it would be a requirement to learn about the meme coins and altcoins. We just thought when you're seeing, like when you're talking, when you're seeing me and Mr. B Roots talk about them, you don't know, you just think, okay, they're going to go up. Like we knew, we knew, okay, we knew they're going to go up. But I mean, I'm sure even Mr. B Roots and Ian are probably thinking like, hey man, uh, we didn't think it's like a requirement. Like you actually need this. You can't just like, you can't do this like half ass. No, this is like full on critical to your success to understand this. But it depends. It depends how high Pulse and Pulsex ultimately go. I'll tell you right now, friends, if they're a slingshot, it's a bigger slingshot for the altcoins. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all catch you soon.